<laughs> Our approach is that we really make the cells work for us. And the whole science of tissue engineering is really in providing an environment for the cell and then getting out of the way and letting the cells do their job. One traditional goal of all tissue engineering is to repair failing or missing tissues in our body. We also grow small pieces of human tissues for a drug development and testing platforms and to study stem cells in their native environment. Where we are closest to clinical application is reconstructing precisely and anatomically the bones of head and face. We will take images of the region that we need to reconstruct and from these images we would make three-dimensional files that we then use to make a scaffolding material, a biomaterial, in the very precisely in the exact shape and size of the defect that you're trying to treat. And once you have this, you would take cells from the patient and we isolate these stem cells, we infuse them into the scaffold, we condition this bone for about three weeks and you put it back. So there is nothing artificial in it and you would actually grow a piece of bone that would totally resemble the bone that you are replacing. One of the model systems that we are very, very excited about currently in the lab is a model of tumor. So you intentionally build a tumor, and then you're looking into possible therapeutic targets that you can discover studying this tumor. The process of forming projects and conducting research is similar to our overall approach to tissue engineering, which is provide the cells with the environment they like and let them do what they want. And this is what I do pretty much with every single student that comes to the lab. These are super smart uh, students and I like them to develop their own project. George Eng, who is MD-PhD student, he remembered this toy from his and everyone else's childhood when you have this block with the holes and then you can only put the right piece into the right hole. So he developed a micro technology for making very precisely designed shapes where shape itself is telling us what the piece is. So they are like little Legos. So these are small pieces of human tissue that we can then assemble any way we like into meaningful composites that we can use to either study how the cells are interacting with each other or to build models of disease or to do testing of drugs. So there are limitless possibilities of what you may do by using this super simple system. The excitement about bioengineering also comes from the fact that uh, some of the greatest talent comes to work in this area. And I think we all have the same expectation that during our lifetime we will be able to leave a mark and make difference by developing at least one, if not more, novel therapeutic modalities that are not available at this time clinically.